Hey guys, so this is part 3 of my Unity Horror Game series. Now this is a video that you could possibly skip if you know you don't want to hear me talk about level design and stuff like that and ideas that you can do for your game. But I'm also going to create a terrain, a basic terrain with you know trees, bushes, some grass and things like that that you can use you know to make an effective horror game. Now, as I say, you can skip on off from this because I'll go on to other tutorials about a flashlight, some enemy AI, and more things like that. But first of all, if you take a lot of games like Slenderman or Amnesia, you know it's it's built up within the same sort of idea in mind. Whereas uh, the original Slenderman was in a sort of wooded area. You know you've got a boundary which you can't go out of. You can obviously search around, you know, however you like. Now other instances of Slenderman have been within sort of a a small scene, a small like, um, just like a, a few sets of rooms, but it's all been quite close quarters, very tight corners. You don't really know what to expect around either corner. Similar with um, think games like Outlast, you've got to open doors. You're not quite aware, you know, where the enemy is going to be. So, um, you know, it's about realistically thinking how you want to make your um, horror game work and how are you going to set it out so you might want to draw yourself up um, an idea on paper on photoshop to how you want to set out a level but you know the core idea is you know make it dark and scary and i'm going to show you a few ways that you know you make it dark and you know you can add a few effects like lights to make it more atmospheric so what i'm going to start off by doing is if i go to edit and render settings what I'm going to want to do is change the skybox because I've not got a skybox in the minute so I'm going to go and add a skybox and it's going to be called I'm going to open the moonshine one so obviously if you look you know you can see the moon and the stars and everything like that because it's at night if you want to import that you right click on your project panel and you click import package and skyboxes now from there what I'm going to do is going to create a basic terrain now this is using unity 4.3 so it's slightly different than before it used to have a uh, tab at the top if you go game object create other and terrain you'll create a big 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 terrain now if you go to the settings option you might be on this on uh, paint and raise height if you go into the settings option and you change the width to 200 and then you turn and change the length 200 and we can keep the height roughly the same now once we've done that um, that's all well and good we we'll want to turn the wind settings down unless you want grass to move and things like that but I don't so you know you can decide that so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to a little paintbrush and we're going to paint some textures on and this is just going to be the base for our textures so what we can do is we can add some textures obviously you can import the terrain assets within unity and you can assign a texture now i'm just going to add a sort of stone texture so stone tail 2 and stone tail 2 and then the normal map i'm going to apply that and that means it'll just be applied to my scene you know pretty tiled but that doesn't matter for now we're not going to keep it quite like this and, I'm, and what I'm going to do is add another texture and I'm, what I'm going to do is add some grass and then I'll probably just add this grass I'll choose this I'll hit add then when we've got the grass selected what we want to do is turn the target strength down so when we paint over it you know we get a sort of a lower opacity over the paint but what I'll do is I'll keep it to about this amount so we can see some of the actual stone and rockiness below. I'll increase the brush size to the maximum and just, you know, give the terrain a quick paint over. You know, just something really simple. Just to give the, the terrain a sort of um, a texture. And we'll just, you know, break this up a little bit once I've gone over it, so I've gone over that, you can still see the stone a little bit, you can see the grass now so what we can do is we can go to our other material turn the target strength down a little bit and then just, you know, paint over increase it maybe a little bit and you can add some patches, obviously decrease the brush size a little bit and you know, you can add some more patches to the terrain to make that come through a little bit more than other areas 
if you want to, you know, build up in some areas. But anyway, that's just the basis of just applying some materials and just painting over. You can uh, try it however you like. Now what I'm going to do is I want to add some trees. So if you go to the um, place trees option and add a tree, you can obviously create trees using the tree creator in Unity. But I've actually um, got a pack which is, I can't remember who makes it, but it's on the Unity asset store. Um, it's a nature pack. The person who makes it has got a, a range of brilliant packs which have got the pre-made trees, bushes and all sorts of great stuff. Make sure you check that out if you're looking for some you know, brilliant trees for a fairly good price. Now what you can do is I'll find a tree that I'm looking for. So I'll add tree 1 here, add it to my scene and then I'll go edit trees, add another tree and I'll search it again and I will add tree 2 click add so what I'm going to do here is tree 1 you can change the brush size and the tree density so we'll take the tree density down to halfway and what I'll do is I'll just you know place some trees about in here you know so we get a sort of random spread now I'll select tree 2 and I'll maybe put the tree density up a little bit and what I'll do is add some trees you know in between here and there so we get a more dense look obviously you know we can add more of these you know, and you can take them down and mess about with that that way you can change the tree height and the width and stuff but we'll keep it all uniform what I want to do is break it up by maybe adding a bush so what I can do is add another place tree mesh and I'll select this bush here click add what I'll do is I'll zoom into the um, terrain a little bit and then what I'll do is if we keep the brush size sort of in the middle and then turn the te uh, tree density up make sure you select your bush and then you know what we'll do is actually turn the tree density all the way up and then we'll just randomly add bushes over the terrain so you know we don't have such a boring look so you know you can see where you've added it here you know we'll just add them about so we don't get such a boring scene which is you know got nothing going on obviously now what you can do is you know you may want to add a little bit of grass to this so what we can do is we can go to paint details and what we can do is add a grass texture and if we choose the material and we type in grass what we'll do is I'll choose a grass material now when I add if I click add and add that grass there it's a very very um, bright color not really matching what we want so if we click edit we can change the material on it to maybe match the actual um, bushes and stuff that we've got so if I leave that there and actually keep the brush size you know three quarters of the way on and turn the target strength down a little bit we can just add patches of grass here obviously you need to you know work out what you want to do and how you want it to look but you can add patches all over your terrain now obviously if I turn the brush size up as much as I can and just add bits obviously you can press use one click or hold it down to add more but you know it's just whatever you know you feel that's appropriate for your scene that you're creating so that's pretty much it for adding the sort of the basic elements to your terrain and adding that together now what i was going to show as well is if you go to render settings and you go to ambient light if you turn the ambient light all the way down you will actually um, notice that you know we can't actually see anything so if i go into game now and i press play we can't actually see very much that's going on so obviously I said that I'd help create a flashlight in later tutorials and that'll be pretty simple to do but for now what I'll do is I'll go to the render settings and increase the ambient light for now while we can see what we got what we're doing and going on so what I'm going to do is I created a prefab with a lantern and my lantern all it is is a basic model that I created in 3ds max and it actually has a light attached to the bottom of it and a self um, illuminated shader so it looks like it's lit up now what I'm going to do is actually select the light in the bottom 
and just increase the range so the range helps us see from a distance so if I increase the range on here you'll notice that the floor slightly brightens up will knock the um, ambient light down and if we click back on the light again you know we'll notice you might want to just change your elements up so you add a bit more intensity so this light actually has um, an animation on it an animation is one I made one of my first tutorials about unity was to make a flicker now I've added my flicker animation and I've clicked play automatically so it'll now flicker in your scene so what I'm actually gonna do again you know you might want to leave this off but it's just keep it in the mid so we can see what's going on so what I'll do is I'll select my lantern and I'll press ctrl D to duplicate it a few times around my scene it's just so we can get a little bit of light and a little bit of an atmospheric mood so we've we'll added a few of those around I will go to my first person controller and you need to make sure it's sort of high enough within your scene so if I press play you know my character's about high enough in the scene but if you want to change the height you can change in the character controller you can change its height there so if I turn the render settings and make the ambient light all the way down and then we press play in the game you'll notice the um, lights within the trees but you will obviously have to you know adjust this to whatever you want to um, work within your level so obviously I might want to adjust this slightly so the intensity is maybe a little bit more and then obviously increase maybe the range a little bit so when we play the game you can actually notice it much more within the scene obviously that's a little bit floating in the air but you catch the idea that you get a sort of atmospheric look about your scene and obviously with a lot of games it's just about a lot of trial and error and you actually want to just take the core idea and add elements to it another good way especially if you've got unity pro is you can add um, actual effects to your main camera so I can turn off some of the effects that I've got and especially color correction because color correction can give you an actual idea of something that isn't always there so if I turn my ambient light all the way back up so you can see the scene and this is what it looks like in game if I turn my color correction off everything gets a lot more bright and differentiated in color now when I turn my color correction on and I've just adjusted this to make it look more green you get a more sort of um, sometimes a more darker and atmospheric scene so you know you can combine this with a lot of um, different effects to make your game that little bit more um, unique and exciting to play so as I say just some key features is you know there I showed you how to create a terrain add some lights I use my other tutorial to make it flicker make sure the ambient light is all the way down and make a sort of spooky look to um, a level that you've created and obviously you know you just tweak it any way you like so as ever there's my tips on sort of making a level and helping you design something and giving you maybe some ideas so thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers